Hello and welcome to Book Club on the Go, the podcast where we explore one book at a time. Today we'll be diving into Othello by William Shakespeare. Othello is a tragic play exploring jealousy, racism, love, and betrayal. The play follows the story of Othello, a Moorish general in the Venetian army who is deeply in love with his wife, Desdemona. However, his happiness is shattered when he is deceived by his trusted friend and advisor, Iago, who convinces him that Desdemona is unfaithful. One of the most striking aspects of Othello is its exploration of racism and prejudice. Othello is a black man in a predominantly white society, and his race makes him a target of discrimination and suspicion. This theme is further developed through the character of Iago, who uses Othello's race to manipulate and deceive him. The play also delves deeply into the theme of jealousy and its destructive power on relationships. Othello's intense jealousy over Desdemona's supposed infidelity leads him to commit a series of heinous acts, ultimately leading to his downfall. Additionally, Othello is notable for its strong and complex female characters, particularly Desdemona and Emilia. These women are not merely passive victims of the actions of men, but instead show agency and strength in their own right. Another interesting aspect of Othello is how it explores the theme of appearance versus reality. Throughout the play, characters are often not what they seem, and the truth is frequently obscured by deception and manipulation. For example, Iago presents himself as a loyal friend to Othello while secretly plotting his downfall. Similarly, Othello's jealousy calls Desdemona's innocence and fidelity into question, even though she is indeed faithful and devoted to him. The play also raises important questions about the nature of evil and its role in human behavior. Iago is often cited as one of Shakespeare's most evil characters, and his manipulation and deceit are genuinely chilling. However, the play also suggests that evil is not a supernatural force, but a part of human nature that certain circumstances can unleash. One of the exciting things about Othello is how it explores the concept of honor and the different ways that characters define and value it. For Othello, honor is closely tied to his reputation as a respected and successful military leader, and he is deeply concerned with maintaining this reputation. Similarly, Iago is motivated by a desire for personal honor and revenge against those he feels have wronged him. However, the play also challenges the traditional idea of honor, suggesting it can be used for manipulation and deceit. For example, Iago uses Othello's sense of honor to manipulate him into believing that Desdemona has been unfaithful. Othello ultimately acts on this false belief to preserve his honor. Another important aspect of the play is its portrayal of the relationship between men and women and how gender roles are constructed and enforced. Women in the space are often subject to the control and manipulation of men, and their desires and agency are frequently denied or suppressed. However, the play also contains moments of empowerment and resistance, particularly in the character of Emilia, who challenges the traditional gender roles of her time and ultimately speaks out against the injustice and cruelty of the male-dominated world she inhabits. Finally, Othello is notable for its exploration of the nature of tragedy and how humans are capable of both greatness and terrible acts. Othello is a tragic hero, a figure of great nobility and virtue who ultimately succumbs to his flaws and weaknesses. The play suggests that human beings are capable of both good and evil and that the line between the two is often thin and easily crossed. In conclusion, Othello is a rich and complex play that explores many important themes, including honor, gender, tragedy, and the nature of evil. Its powerful characters, intricate plot, and masterful use of language continue to make it a work of enduring relevance and significance in literature. We hope you enjoyed our discussion. Remember, this podcast is all about exploring one book at a time. If you want to dive deeper and better understand the book, we recommend picking up a copy and reading it yourself. Don't forget to subscribe and review our podcast to help us reach more book lovers like you. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you in the next episode.
Until next time, stay curious.